She's hungry. What the? Shh. There, she's down. Even though she can't drink it, my body keeps making it. Going through the motions really helps with the soreness, though. What is she? She's my daughter. And I'm her mama. It's okay. She's only connected to me. It's not like the other BTs. You can see it, right? You're hooked up. Now you know why I can't leave. So about the supercell. Do you think the grown-ups could talk for a minute? Thank you. Look at this. This was the chiral density when the supercell appeared. But almost immediately after, it dropped to normal levels. In other words, the storm vanished in less than a second. That's impossible. Okay, let's pull the data from your cufflinks and take a look then. Well, that's all pretty crazy, but at least you're not. Timestamps in the logs support your story. Best guess I can muster is you were trapped between two different space times. Two different space times? HQ is doing a deeper analysis. All they've got to work with is the frequency spectrum, but with a little effort, they should be able to figure out where you were sent. <laughs> Another Cairo spike. She's been crying more at night. Chiral density increases in regions connected to the chiral network, but the numbers are way, way higher than I projected. That's bad, right? Yeah. More connections means more Chirelia. Early on, Bridges did acknowledge this as a potential problem, so... I installed special limiters in the cupids to keep the Cairo levels in check. Looks like the limiter on yours is faulty, though. The supercell and the temporal phenomenon that you experienced may be related to all this. Are you saying if I keep extending the network, we might be in for more temporal phenomena? Maybe. Or worse. It caused another death stranding. Oh, but you got a solution. Of course I've got a solution. Right over here, in fact. We just need to integrate a limiter into this new cupid I threw together. Thought I'd make you one since you said you were coming. Crisis averted. No, crisis not averted. We need to rewrite the software to work with the new hardware. Well, then get to it. Yeah, um, no can do. I designed the hardware, but the software was written by someone else. Well, where can we find them? Her. The name's Lochna. She was a member of Bridges One. You'll have to head to Mountain Knot City. All right, I gotta take a Cupid there anyway. Oh, good. That's great. Here we go again. I don't know what's gotten into her lately. She's so scared. Look at her. Yeah. 
Maybe the other side wants her back. Or maybe she wants to go back. We can't keep on like this. That much I know. You want to tell me what happened? She was due. I was in the hospital waiting for a C-section. Then the terrorists hit us. under the rubble. Nothing to do but wait and wait. Ah. Felt like forever. But no one came. They said air and water. Instead of bringing life into the world, I brought death. All right. When the time fall stopped, my baby started to cry. She cried, cried, cried. Her life was the price I had to pay to survive. She saved me. ever since but she's a BT the ties that bind her to this place bind me too you could say I've never really been discharged and you're okay with that I mean you know she's gone you want to live your life in the shadow of the dead come on <laughs> you of all people you chose the dead over the living why else would you be here I just remembered. Dead men told me repatriates have special blood. Mind if I take a sample? Yeah, sure. Suck me dry. You already bleed me in my sleep. A bit cold, ain't you? Just a second. There. All done. I want to run a test. Mama, are you? I'm sorry, Sam. Would you mind leaving us alone for a while? Yeah. I gotta get to work. Sam? Hey, forget what I said about chiral spikes. Reconnecting the world comes first. Maybe we're making things worse. Maybe not. But 
It's the only plan we've got. Good luck, Sam. Sam, the delivery terminal outside still works. Go ahead and get it connected. I'll give you further instructions from there. Sam, your next objective is to bring Mountain Knot City into the network. And this route will take you to a way station and on to a distro center north of the city. From there, it gets tricky. You'll have to take a detour to get around the mountains. Still want me using this Cupid on the way? Software's not been rewritten yet. It's fine. If you link up Mountain Knot City after your Cupid is fixed, the update should filter through the network, stabilizing the connection. It's just one more reason to get there ASAP. But for now, make do with the Cupid you've got. Uh -huh. Any word from Amelie? None. We'll just have to hope she's all right and keep going. It's what she would want. <sighs> anyway, check in at Lake Knot City's Southern Distro Center before you hit the road. And good luck out there. By the way, Sam, I've added a zipline schematic to your PCC. Figured it would come in handy. All you need to set one up is at least two anchors. Why bother carrying cargo across a river or up a steep hill when you can just send it through the air? Am I right? If you want a little hands-on experience, you can use the anchors outside my lab. Have yourself some fun. The good news is, Fragile's available and willing to lend you a hand. If you want Fragile to send you, you'll need to head to a private room. South Knot City looks closest from what I can see. It'll be a lot quicker than walking, that's for sure. But you can't take any cargo with you, so there's that. It's up to you. Just remember the options there if you need it. Build it, give it a...
One moment, Sam. We've just received an urgent distress call. Porter out on the run's been injured and can't make it back on their own. It looks like they were carrying schematics for a new autonomous bot prototype. We can't afford to lose those either. Check the order for details.
must be Sam Bridges. That one-man expedition team? They may be cut off up here, but word still travels. We've heard all about the Great Deliverer, the BT Buster, the terrorist, uh... Stopper. Ah, I'm still working on that last one. <clears throat> well, I'm just stoked to meet you, man. So, what you got for us? Whoa, incredible! This will be a huge help. Thanks. You're not gonna even recognize the way station when we're through. Jack into the network. Am I right? Sure feels good to be part of the UCA for real. We've been literally marooned on an island for way too long. I can't wait to reconnect with everyone at HQ. Patching up this place is gonna take some work, but I'm feeling revved up and ready to go like never before. We won't let our country down. Thanks, Sam. And good luck out there. Not that you need it. You're gonna hit the West Coast before you know it. Good work, Sam. Next, you need to extend the network to the distro center north of the city. Now'd be a damn good time to do it, too, as they just sent out an SOS call. Info's still coming in, but it looks like there's been an accident, and we've got injured in need of assistance. Check the delivery terminal for details. Good work. New order. That's armor for your shoulders and legs. The downside is that you won't be able to carry... You'll have to... Remember, Sam. Review your gear and bring... Delivery parameters updated. Time limit set. Thank <laughs> you. 
As a reminder, Sam, when carrying deadly weapons, it's absolutely essential that you exercise restraint. Doubt I need to say it. Killing is off the table. More corpses means more BTs and potentially more void outs. If you kill anyone, you'll be putting not only yourself, but countless other people at risk. experimental data which should provide a boost to our ongoing research and development initiatives. As a matter of fact, we've already made one breakthrough that can be applied to our weapons programs. Hematic rounds, anti-BT ammunition that utilizes the unique properties. However, it's important to remember that depending on the situation, further detail. It worked. Oh, oh, that's great. 
We've been starving for info. And if we run into any more trouble, we can get the word out sooner. I can't thank you enough. All right, Sam. There aren't any more stops to make before Mountain Knot City. But this last leg will be the hardest yet. Rest up at the private room and check your gear before you set out. Your work is greatly... and his people came. They finally reached Echnoth City. There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your Kipu? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the Chiral Network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your keeper, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach.
some new info you should hear. Recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network. It, um, it concerns BBs. I dug this up on my own, just to be clear. No one ordered me to look. And if anyone asked, put it all on me. No need for you to deal with any blowback. You were just listening to me ramble on the wire, okay? Anyway, it looks like Bridges wasn't the first to bring back BB tech. It was a group of separatists. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges One was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the 
decision was made to fight fire with fire, to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan, off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BB program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. The people of Mountain Knot City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed. A tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal.
Heads up, Sam. Looks like you've tripped an intrusion sensor. To be clear, these sensors react to you, not to your cargo. Be careful. Trouble may be on the way. Hmm. <laughs> 